Hi everyone, I'd like to give a short overview of some of the infrastructure that goes into releasing CentOS Stream out to the public. You may have seen the video on the contribution workflow by the packet team. Those folks covered how to propose a patch which starts the review process with Red Hat maintainers. But in this video, we're gonna talk about the other loop. After Red Hat has accepted a patch and the package is truly on its way to the next minor version of Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Let's say you're interested in seeing what's coming up with the curl RPM. You can find the spec file and other sources here on git.centos.org for a few different releases. The C8 branch here maps to what's currently released in RHEL, and the C8S branch maps to what could be upcoming in CentOS Stream. Here's what it looks like in the Git view itself. You can see the sources and the specs directory and drill down into each one of those depending on what you're interested in. You can see here that we're looking at the curl 7.61.1-12 RPM. And this is a view of the RPM change logs that you might be used to uh, getting on your own system. But if you scroll through all of this, this is the entire spec file that is out there to the public. Once you've gone through the spec file, it might be interesting to look at the actual build logs that go through once a package is actually built for stream. And that's in a system called Koji. That is our build system here. You can get more information about what, uh, what, what actually happened when this package was built. Fedora builds all of its releases using Koji and Red Hat uses a derivative of a derivative of Koji itself to build RHEL as well. So it makes sense that we would do that in CentOS Stream. Here's a build that relates to the spec file that we just look at, looked at. You can browse the build logs for each architecture. That looks something like this. And you can also see what artifacts are produced from each of the architectures that gets built. Coming back up to a general view of Koji, this is the front page, you can see what other activities are going on. Now some days are more busy than others, but this is a real-time view into what builds are making their way through the CentOS stream process. So once we've identified this Koji build, we have a couple of other tools to mention. Pungi is the tool that we use to gather up all of the RPMs that make up CentOS stream and produce what's called a compose. A compose can include artifacts like YUM repositories, cloud images, install media, based on whatever it is that we need at the time. I don't have much interesting to show you here based on that process. We do have regular nightly composes that are happening each night, every day. Once they pass our, our testing system, those composes are available for promotion out to the, the mirror network. Right now, we just pick up one of those composes as needed to get those packages delivered out to the mirrors. But the idea is, as the package velocity churns, those composes will get released on a more regular basis. Mirror.centos.org is the last step for a package. Once it makes it here, it's available for in installation on a user system. And you can see this here in the base OS repository, this is the curl RPM that got produced for the x86-64 architecture. So this is out there right now. You can install this RPM on your CentOS stream system. And that gives a short overview of some of the infrastructure pieces that are touched every time we need to build an RPM for CentOS stream.